We go with five. Seven, five. <laughs> we got to put some weight on you too, Timmy. He, when he grew up, he, he developed a lot of muscle mass, and then he sort of got a little bit skinnier as his arthritis or whatever legs fused mm -hmm. kicked in. And but when he was young, and, and then I first nursed him back to health, he was so strong and um, beefy. Mm -hmm. And you said it's his right. It's his left eye. It's his left eye. Yes. Timmy, you're a good patient. You were good for the vet tech. Now we're waiting for Dr. Camphor. I don't think she likes being filmed, so when she comes in, we're just gonna cut the, you know, cut the video and let her work. What's that under your chin? Is that orange carrot? Let me see. Let me see those orange lips. <laughs> you look like Bugs Bunny with lipstick on. I know. It sucks being sick. I hope it's just a scratch. Well, I hope that whatever it is, it's something that we can take care of easily. We're going to take care of it. Saskia just sent us a message, so let's check it out. Okay, okay, Timmy, we gotta try to remember what the doctor said. She said you're super cute. She said that we gotta stain the eye to see what's going on with it. That didn't seem to be her big concern, really. Although, her main concern was making you comfortable and figuring out what's up with your mobility issues and keeping, uh, getting you on some kind of pain, uh, regiment, something to ease your pain, whether that's um, Medicam or CBD or some other, she was saying something that Medicam, if there's liver or kidney issues, Medicam might exacerbate that, so um, the only way to know that would be blood work, um, so we're definitely going to get an x-ray, but look at his eye. really swollen and he was having issues he's got some funky poops right now and uh, he was having a sensitive belly how you feeling bud are you uncomfortable are you uncomfortable but she also thinks that there might be some gas in there i've got gas drops at home you my handsome Dr. Camper said that his orange lipstick was cute. Or I guess she called it a carrot mustache. Oh, Tim Tim. You're the best. You're super adorable. You know what? Is the redness on this eye and the other eye has gone? Now I'm confused. Let me see. Now I'm worried. Well, we'll have her take a, a double look. A closer look. Dr. Camphor showed me the x-rays that they took of Timmy. And you could see his back legs. She was explaining that there were, she called it moth-eaten. There's holes and parts of his bones that are disintegrating, that are losing calcium deposits. And she also showed me his hips and said that they weren't as thick as they should be and this is cause for concern yeah and this is super super thin looking over here so wait so what is this this is his leg th that's, that's his this, hip yeah so this is the pelvis yes okay. and this is so that's the hip joint yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just looks really really thin over here so that could potentially break and if it breaks he has um, to be put to sleep oh well, i mean you're just managing the pain you wouldn't be able to heal it right 
but it's a um, yeah. So it would it would depend on how painful he was. But why would? All right. Well, I just talked to the vet, and we just took a look at the X-rays. His bones are extremely perforated, moth-eaten was the word that the doctor gave, used. Um, this is because we had to take his blood. He's getting blood work. But basically his legs are fused, his hips, joints, the hip joints are exceptionally weak. Um, that's what this was showing was that his hips, um, there's not as much uh, thickness to what uh, his hips should be and that's where she's concerned about she's concerned that even even doing mobility exercises could break his hip so the best thing for Timmy is limited mobility being very careful definitely keeping him on fleece pain management we're gonna do blood work to make sure which we're, we're doing the blood work we're getting the results so that we can see what pain meds are appropriate the good news in all of this is that his eye issue his eye was stained so that they could see and there's uh two scratches two little scratches but generally speaking with eye drops um his eye should heal. But this is about managing his pain and trying to assess the progression of his disease if we can counterbalance it, counteract it. Um, Dr. Camper was going to check and see if calcium supplements help or if the calcium would end up going to his bladder and his kidneys instead of instead of the bones. I know, buddy. And I have CBD, and Dr. Camper said that that is a great option for managing pain. And we're going to continue with the CBD, but in conjunction with whatever pain meds I get prescribed here. He was crying like crazy when they were doing the x-ray. And when they were taking the blood... Okay, Timmy. Let's wait for your blood. Let's wait for your blood test.